Hello! Welcome to the first lesson in this course on Google Apps Script. I think that Google Apps Script is a hidden gem in the jungle of Google products. It's more powerful than you might think, and you can quickly implement solutions on top of it. As you probably know, Google has many, many products. If you go to Google's homepage and are logged in, we can click on this grid of squares to see some of them. And we can see Gmail and Drive and Maps and Calendar, among others. The goal of Google Apps Script is to empower developers by providing a JavaScript-based API to access and manipulate the data and functionality of these products. I like to think of it as a 21st century mashup. If we go to the home page for Google Apps Script, we can see that there are 11 products supported directly by Apps Script. In addition to these 11 products, we can see that we have utilities for parsing XML, accessing external resor uh, resources, and creating user interfaces, among other things. In addition, we can access advanced Google services, such as BigQuery and Analytics. One of the most attractive parts of Google Apps Script, outside of it being mostly free, is that you develop your apps completely in the browser. Google Apps Script provides an integrated development environment, or IDE, that runs in the browser. It's simple, but still supports syntax highlighting, code completion, and even has a debugger. And since it runs in the browser, there is no software to install or maintain. And, it, and it's also cross-platform. In this course, we will look at the basics of building applications using Google Apps Script. By the end, we will have built an application that can gather data, generate reports, and distribute them. In the next lesson, we'll launch the IDE and get going.